How to use hair conditioner properly. So I get a lot of people saying, oh, I don't use hair conditioner or they're anti-conditioner when I'm like, well, the conditioner is actually what's adding moisture to your hair, especially throughout the ends. It's detangling, it's keeping it soft and a silky type of feel because if you don't use conditioner, your hair could actually end up feeling very, very dry. It could start to get very knotty, but there's a specific way that I've learned by hands-on experience of how to apply a conditioner properly. And this is really also great for people who have very, very fine hair and you feel like your hair is always weighed down from products. So what you wanna do is after you wash your hair or uh, you, know, you rinse all the shampoo out <clears throat> and you're ready to condition, well, what you need to do is take a you know, dime size amount of the conditioner, however long your hair is. And what you wanna do is you wanna start to apply it from like the mid shaft of the hair down like this. And you wanna to start to just pull through the hair without getting it on the scalp. And what you're doing is really, really just staying clear and far away from the scalp area here. And you're just doing it ever so lightly. Then what you can do is take the palm of your hand and lightly just graze over the top like this while your hair is wet. And you're really just kind of getting it through without globbing it on your scalp like you would with shampoo. While it's in your hair, especially throughout like this area, like around here and down, what you can do is then take a vent brush. Um, do not use a hair cutting comb, but I would use a vent brush and I do sell vent brushes on shop.theslonga.com. Um, it's an amazing vent brush that I've been using for many, many years and you wanna comb through, but you wanna comb through from the scalp, the scalp all the way through, all right? all the way down to the ends like this. And what you're doing is then distributing the conditioner so that it gets even distribution from scalp to ends, but you didn't put it directly on your scalp, okay? And what that's going to do is it's going to allow you to keep a little bit of that volume throughout the root area, and it's not gonna weigh your hair down, all right? Just be very, very careful. Don't use a whole bunch of it at first, Use like, especially if you have really, really fine hair, even thin hair, just use a little bit, work it through the mid shaft of the, right here of the head and down to the ends first and just use it like this and then take the vent brush and comb through and you're gonna kind of distribute it evenly. If you have super thick hair and your hair is always dry, especially in the scalp era, um, same technique work it down from the mid shaft down to the ends, and then you can go in and maybe apply a little bit on the scalp and then comb it through. You always wanna be combing the conditioner through all the way, and the vent brush allows you to put the bristles right on the scalp and just comb it all through, and then you can do a, uh, a rinse. Just rinse it all out, and if you wanna use a cool rinse, you can just kinda of seal the cuticle, uh, lock in the moisture, and um, Make sure, again, you do rinse it very thoroughly because if you leave a lot of conditioner left, like on the hair, you don't rinse it enough, that could also cause your hair to get weighed down. Now, there are different and various types of conditioners. You got, you know, conditioning treatments. If you've got thin hair or fine hair, I would stay clear of like really, really in-depth conditioning treatments uh, unless your hair is so dry that if you were to do it, you'd be using the same technique. But what you can do is you could actually just leave the conditioner on for quite a bit of time. However, I've noticed in my experience that the more you use conditioner uh, and leave it on longer, the more it's gonna weigh it down. So if you do have fine hair, thin hair, put it on the ends like this, comb it through and get it out as fast as you possibly can. Just leave it on there enough to kind of detangle and, and kind of lightly soften the hair because you don't want your hair to be too, too soft. Then when you go to style your hair, that's where I would suggest using Tidal Wave, my sea salt spray or something, and one of my round brushes to, get, to then build that volume back in the hair. So if you are uh, using conditioner, please let me know. If you found this video helpful, let me know. If you want to use any of my products, use code YouTube20, that's YouTube20 at shop.theslonga.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.